Okay guys, we are playing a game called What Never Was. It's a game about... it's free, on Steam. It's a game about um, someone looking through their granddad's stuff, I think. So it's just full of memories and just pleasant, nice stuff, I hope. Let's just go and walk. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already right here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. Oof. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. Alright. Let's do this. That's not even his remains, is it? Shouldn't be. Yeah, hopefully this is all recording okay. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Fairies by Brian Frow in Elm Lane. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. It's a baker's lamp. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. It's a magnifying glass for magnifying things. Got that. It's a magnifying glass. No, I got it. Don't worry. For magnifying things. Oh, it's so pretty. Look into the light, my child. Anyways, uh, I'm getting distracted. Maps. Lots of maps. Is that booze? What a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Thing is, some globes have booze in them, so. No, it's a proper globe. Hey, look, it's America! Hey, home sweet home. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much more did a woodchuck chuck give me? Wood chuck, wood chuck, wood! Hey! <laughs> it's locked. Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. There's 
secrets. Oh, there are secrets. Bicycle. I came by train. I'm working by train. Okay. Celtic myths and legends. Ooh. The hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? <gasps> the hero with a fat Nah. I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. It's a landscape painting of Wellington. I thought you were supposed to. Oh man. My old race station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Hey, Mr. Pickles. He must have played through the adventures of Merida every single summer I was here. Let's see for Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. And so if anyone else is listening in the way in <laughs> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means that it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grandmothers. All the adventures we had. You were a little one, and I was such a bright dear old man. I, uh, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... Uh, I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it's unavoidable. Let's see, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. That is enough to put anyone to tears, jeez. And when he says like secrets and stuff, sorry guys, I'm just playing with my gizmo. Um, my little gizmo. Okay, so. Ah, he's got like proper student stuff. Oh. Wait, maybe. Come to think of it, I don't even know where he got it from. On one of his travels, I guess. Maybe the necklace. It needs a key to open. A key, okay, but not a necklace? Ooh, old flip phone. 
Nice. Uh, typewriter. Hey, no. Can't imagine it's been used much. Grandpa was always a fountain pen type. Celtic myths and legends. Okay. It's a chessboard with the game already in progress. Ooh. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Um, could this be one of the diary pages? Oops. I can see if I can find the missing pages before I'm living this. Helen, goddess of fire. Oh, uh, I know a really cool story about um, Pele. Uh, like there was like a competition and a snowboard competition. It was like a snowboard competition. I don't know if you know. Can I look at any of these? No? Oh, yeah. It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. I really wish I knew if that was a dude or not. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Aww, there's a grandma as well. I mean, there usually is always a grandma. Not always. But there usually is a grandma. Can't see very well in this. Is the key outside? Whoa, it's so pretty. Why is the window open? Yeah, it really is gonna take ages because, like, is there a drawer? I think drawers. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin an arduous climb on Mauna Loa. I'm not much of a climber but I'm filled with determination. I'll, I will however first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. But only not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol. He also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Oh no. So I'm just getting a bit distracted. Regardless, I am here and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets Pele got as a fire holds, it is now within my grasp. I've definitely reached the right place. Although I'm weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. 
The villagers, the villagers are friendly but warmly upholding customs. Something I am, I have no intention, intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pelea, of course. But is it linked to the crest I've sought as well? Crest. Also, I think I'll try finding pages. A desk drawer. Fairies. My bride frown. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that an autopilot? Is this another page? Nice one. Which one is that? Page two. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Par Pariakaka would have happened to be in the mountains. The trek has gone well, although the winds are ominous. My clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival has proved invaluable. Not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge in his company. Not expected not expectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic alchemic symbol of water. Again these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are uh, alchemic alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seem strange and of no cultural design that uh, that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter in Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements have special significance as well. But will but what will I find on this mountain? That book seems to be everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a lamp. Any tools? No. Wait a minute. That was this is the key there. The key I have doesn't fit here. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that now. This looks like one of the diary pages. It looks like a torn up page. Oh, this is the key. Hey. The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one of tree. While a trip has yet again gone well, a trip has yet again gone well. And my search has once again led me to these symbols. I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life researching these mythologi mythological connections. Yet again, I reach my destination, and nothing, almost as if this is all an extremely large pr prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter was right. Months, months, nay, years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine that with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I'm so close to finding the summit. Yeah, no 
Yeah, I got that. I just want to open the thing inside. Yeah, open the desk door. I get that. Hey. Let's have a look. All I've worked for is here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa. Helping to set the burning sensation of curiosity at peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The, an the anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale. But I have no manage not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guidance, I've now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Elfstone. Although sometimes known as troll stones, symbol of Scandinavian folk the symbol of Scandinavian folklore. Normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered were considered lucky otherworldly and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of the true elf stern is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. Ah, oh, that reminds me of um, Chronicles of... Uh, what's it called? I need to look this up in my gizmo. Chronicles of something. Gatwick? No. Riddick? No. Spiderwick? Spider... Yeah, the Spiderwick Chronicles! Yeah! It reminds me of those, because that had uh, a stone with a hole in it through which you can see the trolls, which is really cool. Anyways, um, while several of these were on display, one of them only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for, carved in a way that no average jeweller could, and with awe in place of where the hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I'm sure that its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hatem Mosque, Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. Now, can I try the combination? Yes, sure. What does the combination be? It's locked. You fool! It could be from the journal pieces. Yo. That seems to be everywhere. What do I do?
Why'd you take forever to sort through all these? Crap, let's share that like so much stuff. Your hero with a thousand faces. That's good. I can't believe Mom wants to sell this. I get that he missed a lot of her childhood. But come on. Yeah, not cool, man. The post-it says, play me. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where the second key is. Celtic myths and legends. Look everywhere. You know, this isn't funny. Why not? There could be secrets. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? I thought she was going to say something important then. I am thoroughly disappointed. Okay, so we found all of the um I knew if I was in tune or not. Fairies by Brian Frow and Alan Lee. Can we search the rest of the house? Yo. I am thoroughly stumped. Wait, see for Crouch. Maybe. What's this? What's this box? Give me a secret box. Oh, I just noticed this box too. Legends. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? The hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell. Open the damn chest. A desk drawer. I can see if I can find the
going to take forever to sort through all these berries. Why do I frown in our way? The book is everywhere! Is there anything special about this rug? I wonder who's winning. There's no one to play. And I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. There is no way I can pick this up. These books are all so old. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. I am not taking this with me. I am not taking this with me right now. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. I'm not grabbing my stuff until I make sure I have everything I need in here. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. I have always loved the British countryside. It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day. Mm hmm. Mm. I am thoroughly stumped. I'm leaving my train. Is that a draw? No? Okay. Yet. So click on that one, then... Ooh, Hold on, I said something about... No, I can't have the symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. Chinese one for tree... I'll have a symbol for earth, axe, fire, is it that one? Finally. 
Okay, we got two. Okay, so first is Q, then it's U, then it's not. So let's try this one. Okay, almost there. Not sure. <laughs> I did it. This looks like. Is this a second part of my necklace? Wow. What are you waiting for? I don't think I'm getting any more out of this glow. I don't think I'm getting any more out of this glow. Celtic myths and legends. Am I missing something? Fairies. By Brian Stroud in Alan Moore. Why? These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So it through here. Huh. Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. He sure could draw, though. I mean, look at that. Got his dragon thing. I should see if I can find the missing pages. Oh! Grandpa's little travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I got all the pages though. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. I can see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I've got the missing pages! Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day, because I'm just so confused. Okay. Adios.